everyone, it's Christy, and I got a chance to use my table that I made for my fluid acrylic pour paintings. And so I thought I'd show you how it turned out. If you need more details about these paintings, you can look at the blog post that's associated with this video. And these are the colors that I used for this one. I kept it with my, my some of my favorite colors. And this is how I mixed all the paints for all three of these paintings. So for this first one, I covered the entire canvas um, with white. I find that the paints flow much better if you already have paint on the canvas. Um, I don't actually paint on canvas. I use MDF boards, quarter inch MDF boards, and I just prefer them. I find them much easier to work with than canvas or canvas board. So I just kind of put the paints on this completely in a random fashion and then moved it around a little bit. And to be quite honest with you, I wish that I had stopped right there and just left it and let it do its thing because I really liked how vibrant and colorful those colors look together. But I used my blower. My blower is attached to my air compressor and I have it set probably at around 60, um, uh, it might be a little lower. And then I use my little butane torch and that just gets the bubbles out. Um, and sometimes it'll bring some really interesting uh, looking effects to the paint. So that's how this one looked as it started drying. So imagine my disappointment when I noticed that I did not put it on a level surface to dry and the paint all slid. <laughs> so I kind of had to do a little touch ups and see if I could salvage it. Actually, I didn't think it looked bad. I mean, I think this looks nice. I still like the colors. I like the pattern, but I was disappointed because I really liked the first one. So this is how this turned out with it dry. And I do like the colors. I like the texture. I like how it turned out. I was just disappointed that I didn't put it on a flat surface to dry. That's something that's very important when you're working with liquid acrylic paint. So that's painting number one. And then for painting number two, I stuck with pinks and white. And then I also wanted to try out a little liquid gold gilding. I had no idea how the two would react because acrylic paint is water-based. And um, liquid gold gilding, I don't know what that's made of, but it smells like, it smells like a paint pen. Um, so it's some sort of an oil-based something. Um, but I still wanted to try it out. So I kind of had a vision in my mind that it would leave streaks, gold streaks throughout the pink and the white. Um, it's not quite how it turned out. There were a few streaks right there. Well, it still didn't turn out like I had envisioned in my mind. I envisioned long streaks through the paint. Um, and it ended up kind of breaking up into little dots and um, short little squiggles, which is fine. I mean, I, I think it still looks pretty. And when the light hits that gold, it's really, really pretty. You can see it towards the bottom of the screen right there. And on this one, I took a little more care to put it on a level surface to dry. The paint is still going to move because it's very liquid. 
Um, so it's still going to move as it dries, but not, you know, if you put it on a level surface, it's going to be a much better result. So this is how this one turned out. I love all the, um, just the way that the paints mix together and the gold. I still, I think it looks really nice. Although it's not what I envisioned, I do think it looks nice. Um, but I'm going to have to try some other things because clearly the gilding is not going to give me the effect that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to have to try to find some other gold. I, I've never found a gold acrylic paint that I'm really satisfied with. So I'm not real sure what to use. But this actually turned out to be my favorite painting of the day. And then for the next one, I went back to similar colors to the first painting. More blue instead of teal. And I also added that light teal to the mix. And I'm going to want to do some paintings in the future where I don't use my little um, air compressor blower and just see how the colors intermingle kind of on, more on their own. I just really like the effect that the blower gives because it, I don't know, it always looks like a topography map to me. And I just, I just think it looks really interesting. But I also really like those big bold patches of color that you get before using the blower. Oh, and you can see how the little butane torch, real or butane, no, propane. I don't know what that is. I got it at Home Depot. Anyway, it gets the bubbles out, but it also really brings an interesting texture. Now this one though, you know, again, you never know what it's going to do as it dries. And so I lost a lot of that detail. Um, I think it's still really pretty. I really like it, but the green took over a little more than I had hoped. Um, but anyway, I still like it. I love the colors. So that's really it. Those are my three paintings. I think I need to play around with how I mix my paints a little more. They may be a little too, a little too liquidy. So I might need to thicken them up to have a little more control over them.